On to special topic G. We kind of outlier chapter that we teach whenever we feel like it. The first set of reactions that you need to know from this uh, section are the Heck, Stille, and Suzuki reactions. And all of these reactions involve palladium over the arrow, a palladium catalyst. Now, you'll see PE, and then there's going to be a bunch of other stuff written alongside it or coming off of it. But if you see palladium, you know you're going to be doing one of these three reactions. Okay, let's start with the Heck reaction because it's the one that's probably the most rule, uh, the one that with the most rules. In general, you're going to see two carbon-carbon double bonds. We'll use a benzene here. And on one of those carbon-carbon double bonds, there will be a leaving group, like bromine, iodine, or chlorine. They're always going to be halogen leaving groups. And then on the other double bond, there's nothing really special about it. Usually it's terminal, though, meaning one end has two hydrogens on it, this end on the left. Now all you have to do to figure out the product when you see these two things and then palladium over the arrow plus whatever else is on the arrow, if you see palladium again, that's good enough, is you're going to connect the terminal end of one double bond to the end of the double bond with the bromine, meaning all you have to do is line up these pieces together erase your bromine, and then stick them on top of each other. So basically what I had here was the bromine sticking off there, erase the bromine, and connect the dots, like that. Okay. Now the Heck reaction has one special rule in particular, and that is that the double bond that it makes, the double bond that isn't part of the benzene, will always be a trans double bond. Always makes a trans double bond. Okay, so how would that translate into another uh, question? Well, typically this is the one you're going to expect, but if they gave you two answer choices, one that looked like this, and one that looked like this with the benzene, but now you have a cis double bond, you know which one should be your answer. It's gotta be this one because it only makes the trans product. This is the incorrect choice. And that's really all there is to the Heck reaction. The nice thing about these special topic G reactions is you don't have to know any mechanisms, so, that's half the trouble gone. Actually, that's like three quarters of the trouble gone. Um, the next reaction is the Stille reaction. And just like Heck, it involves palladium. Whatever else you, is along with that palladium, again, doesn't really matter. But the Stille reaction, what's on, you're still connecting two carbon-carbon double bonds, but what's on those double bonds is slightly different. On one double bond, you will still have a halogen, a good leaving group, bromine, iodine. And on the other double bond, you will have SNR3. SN, I believe, is tin. Um, and basically, it's kind of the same as what we were doing with the heck, and the fact that you're just going to line these two double bonds up with uh, the special group. So we have R3 SN, we have our cis double bond, and you're just going to erase the bromine, erase the tin R3, and kind of connect the two double bonds to each other like this. Now, this looks kind of ugly, I can just draw it a little neater, but that's the general gist of the Stille as well. Now, the important thing to know about the Stille reaction, where the Heck said it always makes a trans double bond, the Stille reaction conserves the stereochemistry of both double bonds. Meaning, when I had these two separate, one of them was a trans double bond and the other was a cis double bond. Well, I still have a trans double bond here, and I still have a cis double bond here. So this would be my final product. Okay, And again, the Suzuki reaction is also pretty much the same thing as the Stille reaction in the fact that on one carbon-carbon double bond you have a leaving group, so I'm going to use bromine again because I seem to love bromine. And then on the other double bond you are going to have B, so boron, OH, parentheses OH2, a borate. And the rules that I just gave you for the Stille are exactly the same for the Suzuki reaction. So this one is Suzuki and the one with uh, the tin is Stille. Um, just line up your two double bonds such that the groups are pointing at each other. So in this case, B, O, H, 2. And now just erase those groups and connect the bonds. So now we have this. So since I gave you the same setup, just with the two different groups, the product is still the same. You get carbon-carbon double bond that was originally trans, still being trans in the product, 
any carbon-carbon double bond that was cis still being cis in the product as well. Okay? So that's the hex still in Suzuki in general, and they all involve palladium over the arrow. What's attached to the double bond is, is what allows you to tell them apart. And just make sure you remember the heck reaction always gives you a trans double bond in the product. So, and that's about the gist of it. Let's do one more just as practice. So try this. We give you some palladium catalyst over the arrow and we give you a double bond that looks like this, BOH2, and plus another cis double bond with iodine on it. Pause the video if you want to try and figure it out for yourself. If not, do what I was doing before. Line up the special group of one with the special group of the other. So we'll have the borate over here, BOH2. Um, the iodine of the other will line up with that. So I just turn the molecule upside down so I can get these pointing at each other. Now erase the special groups, the BOH2 and the iodine, and just connect the bonds. So like that. Now you can draw it a little neater. Double bond there. This double bond was originally cis, so it should be cis in the product. And this double bond was originally cis, so it should also be cis in the product. And there you go. If you just line up the pieces, then you can figure out what the stereochemistry should look like without having to redraw anything. And that's the gist of these reactions. They're really not that bad. <clears throat>